Howdy PCB designers, I'm Amit Ball, Director of Sales and Marketing at Sierra Circuits. Today I want to talk to you about the IPC 2581 file format. First things first, for those of you who may be asking what exactly is the IPC 2581 format, this format is an intelligent open standard for CAD to CAM delivery of PCB design data. It's all about bridging the gap between design software and manufacturing software. So from the time a PCB designer is done with their layout to when a PCB manufacturer starts the CAM process, sometimes information is lost and the format aims to solve that problem. So it's good for the designer and it's good for the manufacturer. In a nutshell, the format is the new standard for PCB design data transfer. As a consortium member, we're obviously fully endorsing the standard and for good reason. Right now, I would guess that about 90% of our boards are manufactured from Gerber data and about 10% from ODB++ data. While those formats certainly work, Gerber is what we affectionately call the dumb format. And what do I mean by dumb format? Well, it severely limits our ability to analyze and increases our engineering costs. Gerber simply is a graphic representation of PCB layers, and the information is limited to outlines and location of PCB features and not much more else. In addition, there's no fixed rules for naming conventions of layers, layer names, polarities, things like that. So basically, designers get creative with the names, which frequently leaves us guessing as to what is what. That's bad. It can lead to human error. And our customers getting urgent phone calls in the middle of the night. So how does the IPC 2581 solve these problems? It's not a simple graphical representation anymore. It's an intelligent data format that provides a rich set of rules and attributes that allow the designer, you, to define thermal vias, pads, etc. So if we know the difference between a thermal via, a via in pad, or a wire bond pad, we can apply different rules in our analysis, which makes it much more intelligent. And this is totally possible with the IPC 2581 format. Bottom line is, that the final goal of the 2581 is to do away with unintelligent data, to do away with fabrication drawings, and to do, do away with the napkin drawings. So bottom line, this is a consistent format. It can be loaded with one click. All your design data comes over, so you can be confident that what you're sending us is the complete information we need to manufacture your boards. This means fewer miscommunications and fewer delays. Stay tuned for the IPC 2581 Revision B and check out our blog.